welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, welcome. What we do here is we go looking online and we find some amazing pieces to style some amazing mood boards. And today's piece we're going to be styling around is this beautiful House of CB Leather Blush Vegan Suit. I will say it's a suit. A suit to me is something that matches at the bottom and the top and often has a lapel or is trousers. That's my own take on this anyway. This is video five. <laughs> this is video five of my 100 videos in a hundred days challenge. So welcome. One of the things that I love to do in these videos when we're doing our styling mood boards is to look for luxury items and budget items that style around our main piece. While trying to do 100 videos in 100 days, I'm also trying to get to 100 subscribers. So if you like this content, give it a like, leave me a comment in the comment section and uh, subscribe and hang around. Right, let's get into this styling piece. So as you can see, this top part of the suit is actually a bodysuit, so it helps keep it nice and tight and closely fitted. This is beautiful, and they've got it on the website at the moment in loads of different sizes. And then the skirt, which I really love the um, ruffled button detail. I think it's really, really pretty. If you've watched some of my other videos, you will know that I have a thing for buttons. I think I mentioned it in the white suit styling. I really love, I really love um, items with buttons on. In fact, when I was younger, when I was like two, I used to have a blanket that was just full of buttons and I would sit and I would chew on them, which is kind of gross, but I was a child. Moving on. One of the first pieces that we're going to add to the mood board look is are these Aquazora PPC uh, nude leather pumps with button detailing on. I actually like the fact they're not too high as well. You can tell I'm getting old, can't you? <laughs> they're very on trend with the plastic fitting. Who doesn't love nude? <laughs> Nudes. <laughs> Damn, yeah, you know I mean the colour palette, right? And one of the pieces that we have styled with before is this YSL quilted bag. And I thought the texture of it would look quite cute with the skirt. So let's add that. Then some other really cute bags that I've seen are from Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana are really doing their thing with handbags at the moment. Oh, I'm losing my balance. Dolce & Gabbana are really doing their thing with handbags at the moment. I really like their styling. It's kind of very simple, but with just really good embellishment on. So we have, this one is a little bit more beige, but I do like the structuring of it. I think it would complement the lines and the uh, ruffling of the skirt and the lines in the jacket. I do think it might be a slightly, potentially too beige to match perfectly with the outfit. The next we have this next D&G one, again with really pretty embellishment on, very nice stitching. I'm loving the gold accents. Um, but this one is a lot paler than the previous one. So again, we'll add this and see what it looks like once we come to the finished mood. And then next we have this Prada one, which is quite simple, small with silver detailing. They do this in blue and I absolutely love it. Um, I do like, quite like the color of this one. I think it will potentially match quite well. So we'll stick that to the side, see what that looks like. And then, of course we want our nails doing and we do want our nails doing my nails are tragic at the moment and this dr would be perfect for them right now oh i really should have done them before filming smash that like button if you are too i'm in desperate need of getting the talons looking beautiful and perfect oh such a disaster as you can see, the Prada bag, the colour tone fits really well with the overall scale of the bag. I'm just not keen on the silver accents, mainly because of the gold accent around the pearl on the shoe. Next, we have the Dolce and Gabbana. And I really think this is very pretty, but I think it's a little bit too pale in comparison with the full match um, of the suit including the shoes now this one is really cute because it matches the shoes really well um, but I'm not too sure how well it matches the bag or how well the bag matches even my apologies now here we have the winning looks piece so we have the gorgeous Aquazara pumps 
with the nice pearl gold button detailing, the absolutely beautiful vegan blush bodysuit with the skirt, the Dior Grige in 413, and then the YSL quilted bag. Now I know it has silver accents on it, I did just say about the Prada, but I do prefer this look, mainly because of the kind of quilted stitching detail. So I think for me, this is our winning look. Now moving on to our more affordable budget end of things. So we have these gorgeous pumps from Kurt Geiger. I am a massive fan of Kurt Geiger shoes. Unlike the more expensive high-end shoes, Kurt Geiger shoes are made very well, they're very pretty, and they actually fit, they're not too tight. They are designed to fit people with normal feet. So I'm a huge fan of Kurt Geiger and I really, really, really like these. So huge fan of Kurt Geiger. So we're going to stick these on the board. Now this next piece brings us both high end and affordability. What? This cute quilted bag is from Harrods. I know, right? It's like 40 pounds. So if you want something that is associated with luxury, but is affordable, then this bag is for you. Right, okay, now let's have a look how this all looks on the mood board. Right, now let's have a look how this all looks together. I think the colour match on this is perfect. Look at it, the shoes match perfectly, everything matches perfectly. This is the perfect outfit for a night out with the girls. And then you know me, I like to bring it down so that it's even more of an affordable outfit. So we headed over, we, there's literally just me doing this, I headed over to ASOS. Again, what's the, what, what, what are we saying on that guys? ASOS, ASOS, I've still got nothing back from anybody about this. So I'm gonna have to ring around my friends and be like, what's the verdict? So I saw this very on trend Bottega Veneta dupe style bag on ASOS and I thought this would be very complimentary of our outfit given kind of the poofiness and the texture. So we added that to our look. And then, and they also had these very nice patent shoes, which I think look very similar to the Kurt Geiger ones. So let's take a look to see what this all looks like together. So I think the shoes and the bag match really well. This would potentially look really cute as an outfit. I would love to see it on. So now is the time where I ask you, what is your favorite style? Which one could you most see yourself going out on a night out with the girls, going to a restaurant and just having a really good girly catch up time and feeling cute and fabulous. My winning board for me was the one with the Kurt Geiger shoes, because I think the match was perfect with the outfit. And I actually quite like the Harrods bag. For me, the color scheme seemed to go really, really well as a group. So that was very appeasing to me. I think my perfect match, if I could pick, if I could amalgamate any of them together, would be the Kurt Geiger shoes with the YSL bag. I actually just really like that bag, which is why I featured it previously. And I just like the texture along with the skirt. I think it would look quite cute next to it. It's a shame it wasn't more similar in colour to the Harrods bag, but, what you, but this is like, it's cute. I like. I'm pretty much obsessed with this outfit. I think it's beautiful. I really like the color palette and I keep seeing House of CB share this on their stories from people who have bought it and I'm, I'm very envious because I'm watching budget at the moment, which is why we're here fantasizing online about things we would purchase. But if I was spending any cash at the moment, I would definitely be buying this outfit because I think they would also go really, really, really well with these shoes. I actually don't know why I didn't feature these shoes with it. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the outfit from the back and also just from the side so you can really see the detailing. This look is also now live on the Pinterest board and that is linked below and that gives you all the links there to the different items if you want to purchase any of them. So one thing that I want to start doing to end my videos with is I want to leave it with a quote. The other day, someone made a negative comment towards me. It wasn't negative, but I, it made me feel negative and um, it knocked my confidence a little bit. So I thought, Do you know what, rather than let it bother me, how about I put something like good out into the world and just leave everybody with a really good message at the end of every video. 
So what we're going to do is a very good friend of mine got me these cute cards and there's a hundred of them. I wish I'd have thought of this at the beginning of the hundred because it'd have been perfect. We'd have had a different card for every video. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this and we're going to have a quick shuffle and we're going to ah not drop them on the floor and we're going to see which card. Right, tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. I think we're going to stop around here. So the first card reads, time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. And that is true. So go and do something you love this evening. And do something nice for me by leaving me a like on this video and subscribing to my channel. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know which was your favorite look. If you've got this far, thank you very much for hanging around. I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much. And I will be back in another video doing another styling piece. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.